Ours is the fury. These are the words of the Black Stag of Baratheon. A battle cry echoed throughout the land in rebellion when I, Robert Baratheon, the first of his name, seized the Iron Throne from the Mad King, Eris Targaryen, ending a dynasty nearly 300 years old. House Baratheon was born in the Wars of Conquest, when Aegon the Dragon invaded Westeros. Aegon sent his commander, Oris Baratheon, to take Storm's End. Argilac the Arrogant, the last of the Storm Kings, foolishly left the safety of his stronghold and met the Baratheon warlord in open battle. Argilac was soundly defeated, and Oris took his lands, his holdings, and his daughter. Oris was said to be a half-brother to Aegon Targaryen. If this were true, a little blood of the dragon mingled with that of the stag in those days. The seat of House Baratheon is Storm's End, a legendary keep raised in the Age of Heroes. It overlooks Shipbreaker's Bay, where legend has it that Durin, the first Storm King, raised the keep with the aid of Bran the Builder of House Stark, forging a centuries-long connection with the Stormlands and the North. After Aegon's conquest of the Seven Kingdoms, the Baratheons remained loyal enough to the Crown while Targaryen kings came and went. But loyalty has its limits. When Rhaegar Targaryen, Eris's vile son and heir, abducted Lyanna Stark, my betrothed, my beloved, it was time to act. We raised our banners, Baratheon, Stark, John Arryn and the Tullys, united in rebellion against Rhaegar and his father, the Mad King. We were victorious and took the Iron Throne. That bit of dragon blood in my veins came in well, as it made me a distant relation to the Targaryen dynasty blood of my long-lost ancestor, Oris. The truth of it is, I took it. I sit on the Iron Throne. I rule the Seven Kingdoms from the Red Keep.